Imagine if I filmed the whole video like this with everything out of focus. <laughs> Wouldn't you be so mad? <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome back. Okay, so it is about midway. I've been with these pens and inks for a couple of months. And so we're going to do like a, a progress report. I meant to write progress report when I was writing this heading, but... I guess my mind was clearly elsewhere because I went ahead and wrote report card. So I added the word midway on there. <laughs> okay. This month, these last couple of weeks have yielded some very interesting results. Some that I was really not expecting. Uh, some that were disappointing. Some that were just downright awful. <laughs> As you will see momentarily as we go through this. Uh, so I've got my, my pens and inks laid out here. Maybe this will be a good thumbnail. I guess we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and start at the top of the page. So first off we have my Pilot Prera with a fine nib with Pilot Orochizuku Murasaki Shikabu. And this went super well. I almost have written this dry, which feels like an accomplishment. But really, considering how you can only get the tiniest little bit of ink with these converters, it's really not saying much. <laughs> so maybe I should hold off on achievement mode there. <laughs> but really, I, uh, I really did write a lot with this. Uh, I really enjoyed it. We didn't run into any issues. Wonderful flow. Really surprised me. Uh, just really wonderful. Re I mean, I would really, really was surprised. This was my first time ever using a prayer, and I guess I didn't know what to expect, but it performed. Um, before I get into the rating, let me give you, let me show you a writing sample. I've got writing samples for all of these. So I will be showing you writing samples. Okay, this is from my planner. I, I use a daily planner. Um, since this was, the pilot fine nibs are like very, very fine. As you can see, I wrote very fine letters in this planner. I used it for small print, typically. And these are just some more writing samples. So I hope that that is helpful and gives you a better idea of what the, um, you know, what the ink looks like in the nib. And so as far as rating goes, I gave this a 9.5 out of 10 and I had a, a comment I wrote, uh, flow is excellent. Almost wrote this pen dry. Only comment is the grip seems to hurt my finger. Uh, you know, near the very end of writing with this, because it really only has a little couple of spittles of ink left in it, I did notice that it was kind of hurting my finger here. Let me show you how I hold the pen and how I grip. So I, I, I hold like this. Uh, and I tend to, with my finger and thumb, I do kind of press against this finger here. Uh, I never really noticed that I grip that way or, or, or hold that way until I noticed how much it was kind of digging in and starting to hurt. And I think that... Um, I could probably wear like a little finger grip to prevent that. That seems more user error than anything. But um, it did affect my writing experience. So I wanted to try to reflect that in the final, the midway score that I gave it. So I went with a 9.5 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. But as far as the writing experience with this pen and ink, I had no hard starts, I had no flow issues, I had no skipping, nothing dried out, I mean, no feathering, no issues, nothing at all. The entire time that I wrote with this, it was so consistent, it was very smooth, it was beautiful writing, the whole way around, I mean, it just performed, no fuss, nothing at all. And that's very impressive, I mean, that's what you want 
ideally in a writing experience, I think. You don't want to have problems and issues. Sorry, I have a really wobbly desk. So, um, all in all, yes, this was good. Very positive. Um, next, I will move on to the second pin on our little chart here. And that was another pilot. This is my pilot, Kakuno. This is a medium nib. And this is Van Diemen's Night Series Dawn. This is an ink sample that I have that I put in here. This was really good mostly, but there is something going on with this pen and ink that I want to talk about. So I wrote a comment. I wrote, flow is excellent. Ink is so dynamic. Only remark is that I think the ink is trying to gum up the nib. So I'm starting to run into a little issue with this one. Um, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up. I'm going to try to get you real close here. If you can see in between them tons, um, I don't know if it's the nature of this pen because the Kakuno is, I feel like the Kakuno has a tendency to want to dry up because it's not airtight because it's made for kids and for child proof, no choking. It's got, you know, them air holes uh, in the back. But I feel like that's what it's as an effect of that, the ink is trying to dry up a little bit. It's trying to gum up in the nib. I feel like it's trying to form an ink booger. Uh, that's the only way I know how to describe it. I mean, it's just real strange. Let me see if I can show you on the side of the nib here. It, it has like a dryness going on. Now, let me clarify that this does not write dry. There's no flow issues. Um, it writes really well. It just feels like the ink any like residual ink that's on the top of the nib or around that area wants to flake up. I don't know yet if this is an ink problem or a pilot Kakuno problem. Which is why I wrote 9 out of 10 want to see in another pen. I really want to try this ink in another pen to see if it would do the same thing. Because I'm hoping, wishing, praying <laughs> that it's just the Kakuno. <laughs> and I do want to go ahead and show you a writing sample. I use this ink um, to, for my class. I've taken an online class uh, for cybersecurity. And I want to show you this ink because I just think it's so dynamic. It's so interesting. And... Um, to get the amount of depth and interest that I got out of this in a medium nib, well, a medium pilot nib, I should say, which is more like a, a Western fine, I was really impressed. Uh, this is Stalogy paper, just to clarify. So this paper is really nothing great, but I'm going to bring this up here and kind of move it around. I feel like Dawn is such an app name for this ink because when you look at it in the light it captures hot pink red and just that little bit of kind of gold sheen in the light I mean it looks like the sunrise like the dawn um, I think I have another writing sample here yeah um, it's just so dynamic and interesting I really, really love this ink. I mean, it's it's something so much more than just a red or a pink. I feel like this ink has so much character to it and so much interest. I just love it. Like, it really, oh, it gets me, you know? It gets me. <laughs> so, I'm still really drawn on this ink. I'm not ready to give up on it. Uh, so, I want to try it in another pen and see if I have that same issue. Okay, next... We have um, the big spender of the bunch, which is the Banu confetti sprinkle that I bought for my birthday. Um, 
I put uh, Diamine Aqua Blue in this and it's a medium nib and I wrote it has flow, shading, it's cheerful, it's happy. I had to smooth the nib with micro mesh, but otherwise great. And yes, uh, sadly I did have to smooth this with micro mesh. I checked with my loop to see if the tines were misaligned. They were not misaligned. I mean, they were bang on. Um, so I really, really had to just smooth the nib. So I took it to micro mesh and it makes a world of difference I, it writes wonderful now i don't have any issues um so i gave it nine out of ten just because i personally feel that to spend so much money on a pen you should not have to take it to micro mesh yourself i think that's crazy i think that um you know there needs to be better quality control and these companies need to quality check their nibs before they send your pen out to you um, I mean, that's just my opinion, though. So, other than that, though, I mean, it's really great. It has wonderful flow. I love the color that I chose. I feel like it's a really good match. I've been using this ink in um, my affirmation journal. Um, let me show you in a little ink sample here, or a writing sample. Okay. Here is a writing sample, this page on the left here. Um, and it's just a really nice, bright, cheerful blue. As you can see, there is definitely some really dynamic shading in there. It's got real good flow. Um, it's wonderful. I mean, there's not, you can't really complain. Here's a little drawing I did with it, a little birdie sketch. Um, so that one, I, I'm really happy uh, that it went well after the micro mesh. Okay, so now we have um, the big dud of the bunch. Really, the absolute worst. <laughs> Just the worst. My, the pain in my tuchus. Uh, this is my Jinhao 82, which the, the pen is not the problem. It's the ink. The ink is Sailor Men Yo Ha Ha. It feathers so bad that I wrote bombastic side eye. But the reason it feathers so bad is because in order to get it to flow through and show up at all, I had to put so much white lightning in it that it turned into a feathery mess. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, if you, get, if you get this ink, I think you have to use a really, 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 really wet nib that's just going to push to push it through because I've tried this ink in so many pens and it just don't want to flow it really don't it's so frustrating it bleeds really really bad on this paper I gave it a 3 out of 10 now I will say that on my uh, nebula paper this is nebulanote.com uh, yeah make your color story with nebula it really doesn't feather it's fine um, I'll show you a writing sample that I've got. It, I mean, it really is fine. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to find a page here. <laughs> I keep getting it confused with an, another ink. Okay, here's a page. This page on the right here. This is Sailor Manio Ha Ha. Um, there's not very much feathering at all. I mean, it's very legible. It looks fine. There's a little bit of shading. I mean, if you really, really, really look close and you look at the edges of the letters, you can pick up on just a touch of feathering. But I feel like it's not enough to fuss about. This paper is supposed to be uh, the Sands and Tomo River paper and a lot of stuff feathers on this for me so I'm kind of worried <laughs> going into Hobonichi season but we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay so next I have another Jinhao 82. God bless these things. This has Diamond Twilight in it and it's just no issues. No problems baby. Rocking and rolling. 
I wrote real good, another good experience with this ink, always well behaved. That is correct. I gave it a 10 just for performance. I mean, the ink is, to me, this ink is nothing necessarily super special. It's just a simple, super dark blue that almost looks black, but it performs so well. I mean, I never, ever have problems with it. It seems to do so good. I mean, it flows so great. Um, I'm looking up a writing sample here. Okay, here's a writing sample here. Um, it really is so dark, it, it's almost black. Uh, uh, someone described this ink as a teal the other day, and I was really surprised to hear somebody say that, because to me this looks, I mean, it just pulls black. Uh, it really almost looks black. And all of the writing on this page as well, except for that right there, is also in Diamond's Twilight. It, I mean, it just does well. It really, it does really well. So if you're looking for an ink that is like very close to black, but not quite black, um, it, I mean, it's a good one. I've put it in several different pens and it behaves so well. Okay, so next we've got um, my Twisby Eco in Medium with Ferris Will Press Blushing Mushroom. This one was bad and then good, so let me explain. <laughs> when I first inked this, um, and I've actually had this ink for a while, and it has been behaving very meh. It's been giving me some trouble, not wanting to flow very great. Uh, because Blushing Mushroom is so dry. It is such a dry ink. It really is. Um, I know it's popular. I know it's pretty. But it's very dry. So, at first we were having a 6 out of 10 because we were having some problems. And I wrote, this one has been a sleeper hit. We had flow issues at first, but after some tuning and white lightning, it's lovely. So, I tuned this nib a little to make it a little wetter. And I put just a touch of white lightning in this and now it's really flowing really nice so it started out as a 6 out of 10 but after some tinkering we've taken her up to a 9 out of 10 and let me get you a rotten sample I have two rotten samples I'll show you on two different papers one is in my planner this is yesterday I wrote in my planner with this and I'm gonna try to get it in the light to see if any of the that copper shimmer will show through, but it might not. So that this is on um, Tomoe River Sanzen. And then I've also got a Nebula Note. I've written on it in this as well. Let me find a page for you. Here is a uh, page. This is Blush and Mushroom on the Nebula Note paper. I don't think it caught much of the shimmer either. This is a big ink glob that happened when I was absent-mindedly absent sitting at my desk and twisting the top of my pen. And I basically pushed a bunch of ink through. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the performance of the ink or the pen. That was 100% on me. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to spill ink everywhere. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Now we have... Dun, 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 dun. My number one out of this bunch. Love. Absolutely love. Oh, my heart. I gave this one a 10, and I put a star by it because it's... Um, like to designate that this was like the, the winner for me. And this was an ink that I did not have high hopes for because I had previously tried this in a different pen and it didn't flow very well. But I have since determined that must be an, a nib issue with that pen because it flowed beautifully here. I'm so happy it did. I would describe this ink as everything that I want Jinhao 82, I'm um, not, not Jinhao 82, Sailor Manyo Ha Ha to be. Uh, they're so similar. They really are so similar. Um, but this is just, it performs better, is more interesting. It, it's just beautiful. Um, 
absolutely love. So this was the Fiber Castell Grip with a medium nib and it's Wearing Ghoul Alice. I wrote, so happy I gave this ink a second chance. It's my pick of the bunch. Gorgeous, so interesting, and performing great. I have a few different um, samples. I have this on a few different papers. Let me show you a few different writing samples here. Okay, this is my mental health, my little mental health journal here. Um, I love this ink so much. It's so, it I mean, the shading is just so gorgeous. It really is beautiful. The shimmer is very delicate, in my opinion. Unless you write really big words, then you don't get a lot of the shimmer, but it's just this very subtle hint of twinkle, which I think is beautiful. Uh, let me show it to you on another paper as well. I have more. I have more writing samples here. Let me find it. Okay, this is on the left here. I think you can see a little bit of that shimmer maybe on some of them words. Some of them their words. <laughs> Here's another one. I love this. It's like a rain cloud blue. And then I also will show you it on the Nebula note paper. On the left here, this is on the Nebula note paper, and this is the bleed through from the um, from this. <laughs> but yeah, so there's you some writing samples, so you can get an idea of how it looks like through the nib. Okay, last we had one that I had very high hopes for, but it also disappointed me, uh, and that was Wearing Ghoul Wayfarer. I put this in a Twisby Eco with a medium nib. It's not been the best, friends. <laughs> Sometimes it just works out that way, I guess. You take a gamble. Um, I want to try this in another pen. Uh, I'm not sure. This is a brand new pen. Uh, it's another one that I got for my birthday. And when I got it, I did not flush it. I didn't clean it. I didn't tune it. I've done nothing to it. I just went whole hog yin with Wayfarer putting it in here. So maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to just flush it and then put it, put the ink back in and it'll do great. Who knows? Um, but it's been pretty disappointing, really. So I gave this a 4 out of 10 and I wrote, a problem child emerges. Skipping, hard starts, and shimmer not really showing through. Honestly, I expected better. And it's true. Um, I don't get any shimmer in this. And, and I mean, look at this fill. Look at look at all the shimmer inside here. Like, I got a good fill with a lot of ink and shimmer. If it, is it going to focus? Maybe. There we go. Um, maybe, the, maybe the shimmer is just wanting to stick to the side of the chamber and not come out. I don't know. But it seems like I can't get the shimmer to show through in the writing, which really makes me sad because that's what I really, really wanted. Um, I will show you this ink on two different papers. I have a writing sample, sample excuse me, on my Stylogy paper from my class notes. Um, okay, so on the right here, this is Wayfarer. It just shows up as a flat teal, um, which would be fine if it wasn't skipping and hard starting, but it is. We're getting lots of skips and hard starts. If I could resolve those issues, I mean, we would be in business a little bit better. Um, but sadly, we are not doing so well. And then I also have a writing sample in my um, Nebula notebook. Here we go. 
And if you kind of look, I mean, you can see how thinly this is going. <laughs> I even wrote, also, I think the ink in this pen has a clog somewhere. I mean, yeah. So, have you ever used any of these inks or any of these pens? Because I would love to know what your experience was with writing with these inks. If you have any, have run into any of similar issues that I have, especially with this Kakuno. I'm, I'm wanting to hear from other people to know if your Kakuno tries to dry out or if the ink on the top of the nib seems to want to gum up. I'm real curious about that. Also, I'm so curious about how Wayfair went for you. Um, I'm wondering if this is user error, if I just need to do some tinkering, because I still, I don't want to give up on this ink yet. I really don't. <laughs> it's just, it's so pretty when you can get that shimmer, and when it flows really well. It's beautiful. Um, so that's all I got for right now. Thank you so much for watching. Love ya. Take care of yourself, pen friends. Bye-bye.